Hello students, welcome back. Let's have a look at the next question. So the next question is a numerical from light chapter. It goes like this. If the image formed by a lens for all position of an object placed in front of it is always erect and diminished, what's the nature of this lens? Draw a ray diagram to justify your answer. If the numerical value of power of this lens is 10D, what's the focal length in Cartesian system? So here we have been given a condition that the image formed by a particular lens is always erect and diminished. We have to find out the nature of that lens. We have to identify the lens. So let's have a look at image formation for both the lenses. So that's convex lens and concave lens. And then we'll understand the correct answer. So for the convex lens, when the rays are coming from infinity, they are parallel to the principal axis. The image is formed at to uh, at f2 and the image is reduced to point size it's highly diminished when the object is to the left of 2f1 the image is formed to the left of 2f2 and it is a reduced image and it's inverted when the object is at 2f1 the image is also formed at 2f2 and it's of the same size and inverted when the object is placed between 2f1 and f1 the image is formed beyond 2f2 and it's a magnified image and it's inverted when the object is placed at f we see the image is formed at infinity it's inverted and it's highly magnified when the object is placed between f1 and o the image formed is magnified but it's a virtual image so here we see that the image size is changing and also it's not erect always. So this is ruled out. So it could not be a convex lens. Now let's have a look at the concave lens. So when the object was placed to the left of the focus, the image formed was between focus and optical center. And here you see the image is a diminished image and it's an erect image. Similarly, when the object is placed to the right of the focus, similarly, one ray goes parallel, it diverges, it appears to come from focus, another ray passes through the optical center, undeviated. So this is the point where these two rays meet and here is the image formed. This is also a diminished and an erect image. So we see that it is for a concave lens that the image formed is always erect and diminished. So our correct answer is concave lens. Concave lens. Now we have to find out the power of this lens. Sorry, focal length of this lens where power is given. So power is given as 10d. So we know that power is the reciprocal of focal length expressed in meter. So focal length will be 1 by p that is 1 by 10 that is 0 0.1 meter. So we know that the focal length is always expressed in centimeter. So we have to convert this into centimeter. So focal length is 10 centimeter. Now we know that the convex lens has a Neg sorry concave lens has a negative focal length so f we have to write because it's asked to write out in proper cartesian system so we have to write f is equal to minus 10 centimeter so this is the answer to this question that it's a concave lens and its focal length is 10 centimeter so i hope you are clear by now thanks for watching